what's a better word for equal? Uh, equivalent. Equivalent. equivalent to blank over eight. Hmm. That's tricky. I don't know how to find an equivalent fraction. What do I do? You would go and you would see what y is four point eight. Okay, so I know I have this number and this number. So I need to ask myself, how do I get to this? Caleb, what do you think? Okay, so multiply. Four times eight? Oh, okay, so four times two equals eight. So my answer is two? Oh, so, hmm. Thank you, Vincent. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. Okay, so if I did four times two equals eight, then what do I do to the top, Timothy? Three. One times two. Equals two. Okay. Um, let's see if we can find and see, make sure that these are equivalent. There's a couple ways we can do it. We can either draw it, which some of y'all are going to do. And while y'all are doing that, I'm going to actually have Timothy, will you go solve it up here? Find one fourth and two eighths and tell me if they're equivalent. And while he's doing that, I want you to draw it out. Mm, you can, you can if you want to, so that way you have the whole board to work. Is anybody stuck on your drawing? You don't know what to do? Okay, I'm gonna curse you this a little bit because if we're gonna compare them, we need to make sure that they're equal because then it's really hard to tell. So we're gonna erase these two. And let's, let's start over. In fact, can you erase this two so you have to work? Okay, can you start with two equivalent rectangles? Thank you. Will you go ahead and Okay. Let's do this together, guys, because it looks like y'all are a little bit stumped on the part where we're going to draw. Okay, so we're going to start with two equivalent rectangles. Why would it be important that they're equivalent? What do you think? They're important because the squares be equal. Mm-hmm. She's exactly right. So let's go ahead and our first fraction was what? Four. My denominator is what? Four. So how many spots is this gonna this top one gonna be divided? Four. So let's do four spots. Damien, stay with us. Can you erase that and start over please? Okay, you with me so far? Not shading yet. Okay. Alright. My other denominator was what? Eight. eight. So let's go ahead and do that in day. Is there something that's half of eight? Can eight be split into two? Okay, so let's go ahead and just draw half. And let's make our four lines, like Vincent was saying. And then we can split those into halves. Does that make eight? we can shade so let's go ahead and shade them but if we shade it because I saw some people doing this I saw some people shading over here and then shading over here that's you're, you're gonna get the right answer you're right but it's a little bit harder for you to tell okay we want something that we can just look at it and we can we can check it so our first fraction was one fourth so my numerator is what one. Four. Oh. Eight. Numerator means what? The top. The top. So what's my numerator? One. I know. But if I make the face, then sometimes you're going to think that I said you get it right right away. I want you to justify it. Okay. So we have one shaded here. And our other numerator was, you said was what? One. Uh, top, top. Okay, it's a top, but what? What number was it? Okay, one fourth, but what was our other numerator? Two. Two. So let's shade in two of these. Are those equivalent? Okay, so were we right? Yeah. Okay, is there, if I gave you a fraction, would you be able to find an equivalent fraction to it? Like if I gave you three eighths, could you find an equivalent fraction to that? Yeah. You're saying yes, what do you think? Yes. Okay, what? Because you could do like, you could do maybe like, 
Can you tell us your process? Tell us your process behind it. Don't just tell me the answer. Tell me how you get there. Let's go with something easy. Go with something a little bit easier. So we can explain it. What do you think? You're confused? Okay. How about, like four how about I explain this first one and then y'all do the next one? because I know we talked about it yesterday, but sometimes we like it. All we have to do, if we're going to create any equivalent fraction, we can multiply it by any number. Any number we want. But remember, whatever we do to the... Okay, so let's let's multiply it by anything you want. What do you think? Go ahead. Well, let me, let me explain why. Okay, can you tell them why? Yeah, it's not going to be equivalent. Okay, so can you give me one number? Tell me. Okay, so if I multiply the bottom number, that looks more like a plus, right, sorry, by four, what do I get? Okay. But whatever I do to the bottom, I got to do to the top. top. <laughs> can you find the answer for me, please? Okay. Using the same number, 3 eighths, I want you to find a different equivalent fraction. Miss, can we erase? Sure. Here's your fraction. And I want you to create any other equivalent fraction to this. You're good to go. Okay. 